Always fresh every day. You're watching Fast Lane Daily. Lee Noble got bored and said, "Fuck it," and started a new car company. It's called Phoenix Automotive, and he wants to hook up the average Joe. What's in store? Well, I'll tell you later. Also, a new spec rally car shows off its tail, and news on a potential Uber exotic Lamborghini is in our internet rumor mill. All that plus commenter of the week with a dude who should think twice before hitting the comment button. What's up, everybody? I'm Derek D. You're checking out Fast Lane Daily on a Friday. Special shout out to all our fans in French Lick, Indiana. Thanks for watching. French Lick, huh? Sounds like a fun place. We're living in the fast lane, baby. Tuning in the fast lane, baby. Lee Noble is back in the news, this time with the announcement of a new car company, Phoenix Automotive Limited. If you don't know who Lee Noble is, well, shame on you. He's responsible for designing and building some of the best balanced and notable sports cars in the world. Lee has always had the urge to outdo himself. It was in 1999 that he founded Noble Automobile and produced one great sports car after another, including the Noble M10, M12 GTO, Noble M400, Noble M14, M15, and finally the M600, a car that some say is up there with the Carrera GT, Ferrari Enzo, and let's not forget the Ascari Ecosse and Ultima GTR that he built in his spare time. Now Noble with his new company is setting his sights on a more modest level sports car. Recently Noble said, quote, our new car will offer buyers performance and dynamics that they normally have to spend well over 100,000 pounds to experience, but at a far more affordable price. I have no clue if that's his voice. If he was talking in pounds, it was probably an English accent. But anyway, the idea of Phoenix Automotive is to ensure a great performance to cost ratio. The details on the new car are slim, but here's what we can provide. The first performance car out of Phoenix will have a mid-engine V8 layout with a 0 to 100 miles per hour time of below 7 seconds. The crucial part of the car is the way the chassis gets constructed and with what materials. Noble has confirmed that development began about a year ago on the new car and the first prototype should be on the road soon. We should see it sometime in 2010 and no, he's not based in Phoenix, Arizona. Just in case you're wondering. All right. And for S2000 fans, M Sport has released their latest Ford Fiesta S2000 rally car. This monster was designed in only nine painstaking months and will become the world's first global rally car, meaning it can enter multiple types of rally events. Powering this beast is a 1,988cc four-cylinder, 280 horsepower engine with 260 pounds-feet of torque. M Sport has also included their very own six-speed sequential gearbox, power-stamping Brembo brakes, and an adjustable sport suspension. Due to its rally sport nature, it rocks a full roll cage and Sparco seats, as well as a fire suppression system. It'll be fully unleashed next year, I tell you. We can't wait, Ian. No, it's not wait. Ian, can I wait? Mike. I can't either. You are very convincing, my friend. All right. And now back to the internet rumor mill. Well, look at that. All nice and moving and everything. Very nice. It's a nice mill. I dig it. Well, anyway, this week we've got news on a new super Lamborghini, as if they weren't super enough already. But we've known for some time now that Lamborghini will be replacing the Murcielago. News out late last night is that there will be something even better out of the half Italian, half German company within a few years. It's dubbed the Urus, a name you may remember from previous internet rumor mills, and it's set to go up against the next Ferrari Enzo replacement. So now we've got two cars that don't really exist yet already competing against each other. You silly supercar makers. Look at you. Anyway, the car is set to debut sometime in 2011 with power expected in the 800 horsepower range and a 0 to 60 time of 3 seconds. Thanks to worldcarfans.com for the story and Sergio at deviantart.com for this sketch. And thanks to Ian for this lovely sketch. Yeah, great job, Ian. It's good stuff. All right. All right, well, coming up next, we got a little commenter of the week action. So you're going to want to stick around. You know, you don't have to be a cow to be Fast Lane Daly's YouTube commenter of the week. In fact, very often, being a stupid jackass will work just fine. Welcome back. You guys know what time it is? Commenter of the week. Okay, next time we'll do it in unison, but I like we're going to do it. Comments! All right. Don't you just love when people leave comments and they're like super, super cocky about it? 
Well, I do. It's not because I like calling you out or owning you or making you feel dumb or putting you on blast or displaying your YouTube name for all the world to see. Okay, maybe I do kind of like it. Actually, just consider it as me, like, friendly correcting you in a making fun of way. All right? Well, commenter Bulk Raiden or BLK Raiden had a lot to say on Wednesday about FLD and the Porsche GT2. He said, wow, I am very, very, very disappointed. I being watching your show, he actually said I being, I think you meant I've been, watching your show for a year now, and sure, we're all human and mess up. From, time, from that time you guys had the desk edition and the words were displayed by accident in the bottom right corner of the screen. That's acceptable. But to put a picture of the GT2 and say it's a 911, someone there just got lazy. Whoever it was, slap them. And then slap Derek D for the giggles. I hope these silly mistakes don't happen again. I like you guys too much. <laughs> That's nice, Ian, right? Well, we like you too, Bulk Raiden. But you're coming off awfully certain of yourself there. You even used three varies when describing how disappointed you are with us. Well, guess what? I'm disappointed with you. The GT2 is a 911. It's simply a different enhanced version of it. There are actually 15 versions of the 911 there, genius. Yep, they're all there. Go ahead, count them. Count them. Come on, man. Get your game up. Let me give you an analogy so you could, I don't know, better understand. Here's Victoria Beckham. And here's Victoria Beckham 2.0. Same hot Vicky, just, you know, enhanced. Same for uh, Lindsay Lohan, Tara Reid, Pamela Anderson, and uh, little Kim. Ugh. So you, my friend, need to go ahead and slap yourself. No, I'm serious, go ahead. I'm waiting. Slap yourself in the face. Did you do it? Good. Oh, and by the way, my name is spelled D-E-R-E-K. All right? Jeez. Well, thanks for commenting, man. We still love you, Bulk Raiden, no matter how completely wrong you were. Keep the comments flowing, and you're getting a t-shirt, because we put you on blast, and I think you deserve it. Also, there were a lot of comments yesterday about Trish. So, uh, actually, what's up, Trish? Hi, Derek. How are you? There's Trish. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. It's Friday. What are you doing? Um, you know, I thought I was going to go see the new Twilight movie. Really? You're into, are, you, are you really into that? Big party animal. That, is that movie, nice. vampires aren't cool, Trish. No, I, I think I'm going to go see the new Sandra Bullock movie. Oh, the one with the uh, the football player? That's a true story. Really good. Funny, she said that because I want to see that movie. So, I mean, we can go if you want. I mean, it's, I mean. First Bob and now you. I what do you mean? I'm not, I'm, I'm not hitting on you. I'm just asking you to go to the movie. I mean, what, candlelight dinner? I mean, just, you know, a movie. It's a big deal. And it's supposed to be good. Now, now Trish is awkward. This is gonna make it real awkward. Whoa! <laughs> all right, all right. right. Come on, I'm very comfortable. Well, that about does it. Show. I know. I'm about to close. You want to close? Say that about does it for Fast Lane Daily. That about does it for Fast Lane Daily. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend. And you're. And I'm Trish. And obviously. I'm. And I'm. Derek with a D E R E K. Yes. All right. So seriously, about that movie. We're living in the fast lane, baby. Mm.